what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so i'm going to be sharing my thoughts on the recently new Candyman trailer that came out yesterday and the new images that came out you'll be seeing them spread out across this video as i'm talking of course so we got like an updated plot synopsis along with this as well so i'll just go over that really quick it says in present day a decade after the last of the cabrini green towers were torn down anthony and his partner move into a loft of the now gentrified cabrini a chance encounter with an old timer exposes anthony to the anthony to the true story behind Candyman. anxious to use these macabre details in his studio as fresh grist for paintings he unknowingly opens a door to a complex past that unravels his own sanity and unleashes a terrifying wave of violence now in the new trailer that came out no signs of tony todd whatsoever i don't know if anyone else saw tony todd i didn't see a single bit of tony todd we know that we're expecting to see him factored into this new story in some way shape or form but mostly the story will be about anthony Anthony McCoy, who we're assuming is the younger baby from the first film that Helen rescued, played by now Yaha Abdul Mateen. He'll be playing the now grown up Anthony McCoy. We know Vanessa Williams is back as the mother to now confirm that. Tony Todd recently was in an interview talking about the fact that this is a direct sequel to the original film, which he already kind of knew. Basically, he talked about his excitement to work with Nia DaCosta. And this movie is basically going to be the story about how Anthony kind of gets his own candyman s story and origins this is going to be his candyman story because what was what was the biggest standout to me from that new trailer was the description of what candyman was from this old timer that anthony will come in contact with he says that this candyman was an actual candyman an actual candyman who was a black man in the area of cabrini and he would just give out candy to to kids i guess and one day or something was going on where razor blades were starting to show up in the candy and the wrong man got blamed for that because of the fact that he was going around handing out candy so the police had wrongfully handled matters regarding the black individual a black man in this case and that's where the original story of Candyman came from, or that's this particular origin story of what Candyman is now. Now, what I will say onto that is I don't believe this is them saying that the Daniel Robitaille, or I think I'm pronouncing that last name wrong, Tony Todd's Candyman, I don't think they're saying that that is not what's happening here anymore since we know Candyman is still a thing. It's opening the door and expanding on the mythos of what we've already kind of seen with how the original film went we had helen who more or less was this character that tony todd tony todd's candy man was trying to bring over into his side after she started looking into his into his uh history and not believing in his history and we come to find that it's implied that maybe she might be a reincarnation of the past lover that he ended up losing his life for since he was the artist of a slave who had certain privileges because of this and the money that they were making and he ended up getting the he ended up getting a specific white woman pregnant and that ended up in him getting killed because a mob hunted him down cut his hand off that he used for his art and they unleashed bees on him and some nearby child was chanting candy man candy man candy man and that's how that story was was born and how he came to be known as Candyman. and now of course there's nothing to do with candy there at all but this new origin story for this man that i guess we're going to be following primarily with this origin of who Candyman is because it's not tony todd that we're shown throughout the trailer it's yaha yaha's character anthony seen images of that of the of an actual candy man who was handing out that candy that was wrongfully killed by the police so what i think is happening here is just opening the door with the things that we already saw in the first film with helen because helen ended up having her own story anyway by the end she became just like what tony todd's care to have been back when he was wrongfully murdered helen was wrongfully murdered in the end of the original film so just like how this black person who was actually handing out candy was wrongfully killed because of some unfortunate incident incidents with razor blades being found in candy that prompted police to i guess assume it was this person and then they ended up killing him inc incorrectly dealing with the wrong man it wasn't him so 
I don't think Tony Todd's legacy or his mythos necessarily being ignored. It's just them expanding on it. The trailer in and of itself was very Candyman-esque. It does give me vibes of the original. We have Anthony clearly going around town looking for details about this legend, this myth. He's going to be at his mother's house. We know we've seen several shots of that. Nia DaCosta is featured in like a recent message she gave for the Juneteenth uh, holiday that recently passed where she's talking about what it means to her and how this story is very relevant c compared to what's going on in today's world regarding someone just in today's climate so i'm really excited to see what this woman can bring to the table it looks like this will be a very well put together film with a lot of body horror it seems as we saw throughout the trailer there's a lot of teases and glimpses of body horror but my whole thing here i wanted to kind of really talk about mostly were the fact that this man on screen here seems to be kind of indicating that the, there's going to be a different origin story factored into this. But still the head honcho that started all of this and kind of is the person who would pave the way for what's going on with these new incarnations of these Candyman characters appearing in these areas is Tony Todd's Daniel Robenthal. And again, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that name. They're not ignoring his legacy whatsoever. They're just expanding on it and all these Candyman-esque features that are showing up, just like how Helen showed up at the end of the first film, they're all tied to what originally happened with Daniel. And there's just different stories that have come out since the last original film. Now there's actually been a literal person in the area who gave out candy and they were wrongfully killed. Not to say that this didn't happen around the time the original film happened, but like we're just hearing different variants of what Candyman is now. And we go even as far as to say Candyman isn't just a single person. Candyman is the entire hive. The hive, of course, being people who are wrongfully being killed for things that they didn't deserve to be killed for. So I like the way this is kind of implying that Candyman, for those of you who are up on your history, Candyman could be Emmett Till. Candyman could be George Floyd. Candyman could be a lot of different people who have unfortunately lost their lives for stuff that makes no sense to lose your life over stuff that makes no sense to lose your life over could have been prevented could have been dealt with in a different manner let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below what did you think of the trailer if you haven't make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future without in my guys i will see you in the next video